camera, and it's a really small camera, but what it does is it ref um, reads the reflected heat from the horse or the people. So what I can do is um, basically shine the camera at the horse, and you can see hot spots, cold spots, um, interactions or disruptions in circulation. So what I found was, because I've been treating horses for about 13 years, there was always a time when the horse goes to the vet, there's nothing wrong. As a, from a therapist's point of view, I can't always feel stuff. So with the camera, it allows me to look at the horse and see stuff that you can't actually feel. So um, mainly I use it for problem horses when someone, maybe someone gets bucked off their horse and they don't know why. So what it will show is we can take basically the whole horse. I can stand on a ladder and look at the whole back and what we see is with the back, I'll just grab a picture. Here's some of the um, images basically I've taken. So with um, the back, what we can do is we can actually have a look at the back and sort of see the different patterns. So this particular shot here is um, a pony that um, we've just bought. And when we got the pony, he would nap and want to buck the kids off. Can you go over here a bit? Yep. So, and what I found was when I pushed on that area of the spine, he wasn't happy. So looking at the camera, there's a whole lot of red. And the hottest part with the camera is white. Okay, so you go white, red, yellow, green, and then you go down to the blues and purples. So what I found was he was he had a big hot spot right in the middle of his back, but it came out towards the left hand side. And this particular pony finds it hard to go left. So what I did was when I first got him, I treated him and then I took another picture about three weeks later and found that he was a lot better. So what the camera is also really good for is um, even sacroiliac problems and pulled muscles. So sometimes you think, has the horse got pain in the hind end? So with some of these ones down here, um, you, there's a lot of heat through the actual pelvis and in the middle of the back. So it gives another way to diagnose whether something's happening. Okay, so we can go up further okay, and have a look at his knees, but also the heat's coming up here. Can everyone see that? There's more colour coming up through his legs. What we want, so we can see the foot is warm, but we can also see that there's extra heat in his fetlock here and through all these areas here. So it could be an indication that the shoeing needs changing. And the other thing that I can do is put a little, my little pointer right on the area and find the exact temperature. Okay, so I can go up and check. So what happens is, with the, um, <coughs> if we just move back and I'll have a look at his body, the legs are always colder than the body. So when we start to look at the body, okay, we start to see his neck, okay, the shoulder area, and if we go through so if we look at his hind, we can see the exact spots that he's sawing through here. Okay. And then if we come up to the shoulder area, there's a lot of there's a lot more heat in his shoulders. Okay. 
compared to his legs. So this side is probably slightly different. Okay, usually what I'd do is put the mane out of the way and it could go to his hind quarters. So there's some spots here. But in general, the shoulders are always hotter than hind quarters because of how the horse puts the weight. But there's a whole lot of heat through here and then also through his wither. Okay? And all through here. And then his face, his face is always going to be hotter around his eyes because of the extra blood flow. His finding um, is being able to read the information and for me to be able to go, okay, this is what's happening with the horse. What do we need to change to get this horse looking better? So it might be, for instance, the saddle needs changing. The cover might need changing because you're getting a lot of pressure on the withers. Shoeing, um, feed. And the other thing is, like when we do the imaging, we always do it out of the sun and when the horse is cool.